Why is it that people in the modern world feel like our ancestors were just making things up? Look at the amount of creatures that are in mythology and folklore. Not all of them could have been made up by a small group of people, could they? Then there is also the amount of recurring themes that appear in folklore. Think about zombies. They are from all over the world, but it is Haiti that still strongly believes in them. So if there were once monsters in the world, what happened to them? Could they have all just been misjudged fossils like some archaeologists claim? I don't think so. Dragons have been found in writing from England to Asia. Vampires are found in all cultures from ancient times. The only big changes are the names. There are also mares, which could also be a succubus or incubus. Once more, found in different cultures under different names. Let's look at some of the most common folklore and see the connection between them. Fairies, which in and of itself is a rather large subject. It is an umbrella term for most of the creatures in folklore and myths. Gnomes, Tommyknockers, Elves and Leprechauns all fall under that subject. They have been found in all countries just using different <laughs> names. Gnomes are able to move through the earth with ease. Tommyknockers live in mines and cause cave-ins. Leprechauns live in trees and mounds and fairies can live just about anywhere. Leprechauns and Tommyknockers are known to bring misfortune to those who find them, most of the time causing death. Fairies can be little shits as well, getting people lost in the woods, leading them to a place of their demise and, most notably, if a person enters a fairy circle, they will spend the rest of their lives in the fairy realm. So what do fairies look like? Most accounts have them looking no more than a floating light, which is the same as Will-o'-the-Wisp. Both will lead people to strange places. Both are floating lights. Other names that have been used are St. Elmo's Fire and Spirit Lights. Then there are doppelgangers, these are creatures that look exactly like a living person. If you see your doppelganger, it is a sure sign that you are about to die. Sounds like a banshee, doesn't it? If you see or hear a banshee, you or a loved one will die. There are also the changelings. These beings are old fairies that are replaced with human babies. Because of their age, not to mention the changelings are normally sick when they swap places with the baby, they do not live for long. This could just be a way to explain why there were such things as SIDS in olden times, but there seems to be more to it than that. There were also tests that could be done to see if your child was a changeling. Most of these tests weren't a good practice because they would result in the baby dying whether or not it was replaced with this fairy. Werewolves are found all over the globe as well. Some places have people turning into lizards, others bears or large cats. Basically, any kind of animal could be accused of being a person. In fact, people have been burned at the stake for changing into cats, dogs, bats and lizards. Could werewolves, zombies and vampires just be a way to explain insanity back when people didn't have any idea of what was happening to their fellow man? It could be, but I don't think so. It is hard to find people, even in the same group and city, that agree with something that they had witnessed. Ask any detective about how different eyewitnesses' accounts are. But these creatures are told so commonly in olden times, with very little varying from story to story. Hell, even in the past hundred years there have been stories of dinosaurs in the Amazon. Tribes are able to describe what dinosaurs look like, even though they do not have any books that show the pictures, have never been to a school and keep entirely away from the modern world. New animals are being found every day. Some are even being made like the mule. So who are we to say that these creatures never existed? But what had happened to them? Is it possible that they have all become extinct? I doubt it. 
I think they have gone into hiding. People have become too strong and too numerous, but that isn't to say that these creatures aren't still watching, waiting for the time when they can show up once more, to take control of a world that they had once controlled.